Hmm. Hmm. They don't seem to fit. These tea nuts, they fit perfectly on the top slot, but they don't seem to fit very well on the front one. But it's okay, because we don't need these tea nuts. Because I've got a lump of metal. I'm going to make some tea nuts. These are the measurements that it comes out at, which obviously it's going to be imperial, but I've done it in millimetres because I can, which I have then translated into a T-nut, which I think should be this size, 20 mil wide to fit in the 20.7 mil slot, 10 mil to fit in the front slot, which is 10.3, because we don't want that too loose. So we'll do it at 10. And then if I need to skim it down a little more, we'll put it back in and we'll just skim a bit down. 14 mil high, which should give us plenty of clearance at the back. Uh, and the little sticky up bit, five mil. I think that shall do. And what we will do is we will cut two pieces of metal, or as many as we need. So we have a square piece of metal, like so. And then we will machine all the faces to make it 20 mil by 14 mil. And then we will come along and remove this section all the way along and then we'll cut it into appropriate lengths and after that we will then put and we'll put some tap holes in hopefully for some M8s I'll go cut some metal so one cut piece of metal um, I didn't realise yet it was a laser cut end so I've uh, had to burnish off the cut side so we've got a fighting chance that we don't damage the cutters, the tips because it does slightly harden the edge of the metal only by a fraction, only on the outside so we'll uh, put in some parallels we're going to put the, the side I've cut on the saw down we'll use that as a start Get a round stock. We want to get it as square as we possibly can. Right, I'll get this faced off, uh, and then we'll we'll get it machined to size. Thirteen point nine one. That'll loop. So I'll just clean them edges up, and then we'll set up for uh, taking the bits outside off. Now, if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel, I thought I would jump in and tell you ways that you could help support the channel. If you go down to the description box down below, you will find links to our social media pages on Instagram and Facebook, which you're free to go and have a look at. And uh, we do add pictures of things that we've been up to and 
extra pictures of things that we've done. If you would like to support us further by sending us a donation, which will help us create more content for the channel, then we have a thing called Ko-Fi, which you will find the link down below, where basically you can buy me a coffee. And YouTube have added this little feature down below, and it's a symbol of a heart with a dollar sign in. And yes, you can send us money that way by clicking on that and just sending us some money there. And it will help us create more content for the channel because we really want to keep making the content. So with that said, let's carry on with the content. Back to the video. Five, 5 5.07 because I went slightly over to try and uh, compensate for the paper so I'm quite happy with that so this way we should have 15 which we do we have 15 question is, will it fit? Oh yes, beautiful. And here still needs a clean. Okay, so we now have them cut. Uh, I managed to get three out of that little piece, which will be suitable for what we're using them for. With the end mill, I'm just gonna face off one end on each of them, uh, and then we'll turn them around and we'll get uh, an actual measurement. Uh, I think they're going to end up being about 22 millimetres long. Right, so there we are. They're all done to length. They're about 23 mil long. Uh, I've taken all sharp edges off. So all I need now is to uh, drill a hole in the middle, uh, tap it for an M8. Right, so I've got this set up now. I've got a stop on, I've got it all centered out. So we're gonna be drilling a hole in the center, a 6.8 for an M8 tap.
done. All tapped. All deburred. So we've got one thing left to do on these tea nuts. And a lot of commercial ones that you buy don't have it done either. But it's something super important and was taught to me by one of my machinist friends. When you put that into your tea slot, you don't want your thread to stick out like that. Because it could lock the tea nut between the tea nut and the back of the tea slot. So all we do is we pop it in the vise and we use a hammer and a chisel. I'll show you. Just gently put it in your vise, get your chisel or anything that can damage what we're going to damage. And we're going to put it on the thread there, like so, and we're just going to hit it. And we'll do it a couple of times. Now, when we try and put the thread through, it should, it'll stop. It won't go through any further and it can't lock the T-nut to the T-slot. Beautiful. Now, if you like what you've seen on the channel so far and you haven't already, then please do click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. If you've enjoyed me making these lovely tea nuts, then if you click here, yeah, you might enjoy that one too. Stay safe. Laters. Ooh.